friends, welcome to Charusat Chat Room. We have with us Professor Amit Nayak, Head of the Department, Information Technology, Depster. Namaskar and welcome to Chat Room. Professor Amit, yes. I straight away come to you to ask you, yes. kindly describe uh, information technology, how you look at it. Uh, sir, for me, information technology is an engineering discipline which mainly focuses on programming skill, managerial skill, and it also focuses on some, some aspects of the computer hardware. How you find that uh, it is uh, contributing in, in the life of your student? Charu said is a smart university, so we are using technology and I, 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 I can say this that technology brings transparency. That's so in our day to day life, uh, we are using technology for, for, for maintaining student records and all students are using technology for, for getting the information on their tip through their mobile phone, they are accessing their attendance. It keeps them updated. Yes, yes. They are, they are accessing their attendance through their mobile phone, they are getting their result. So, we can send notification, even we are using learning management system LMS through which we are sending material to students, we are conducting online quiz. So, technology is a part of, uh, uh, it, 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 is a, it is a mandatory aspect of our field and now, nowadays even we used to conduct uh, uh, all, almost all exams online. Now, we have removed uh, paper. Uh, very yes. recently, very recently you have really got rid of a uh, 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 paper system of education yes. and you have come paperless education yes. system. That's that's another achievement which has… In, in, in Devang Patel Institute of Advanced Technology and Research, uh, we, we, have, we have made internal exam online and we have made it compulsory. So, no faculty members will, we will uh, force student to use a paper for writing the answer. Every faculty member has to conduct online exam only. Uh, what are the major achievements of uh, your department? We, we have created certain clubs, student clubs. Mm -hmm. So, we have created outdoor education club, we have created some uh, like uh, entrepreneurship and communication club. So, students used to participate in it and even students have opted for uh, hackathon, uh, uh, national level competition. So, our students, uh, they, they, they have full autonomy to participate in almost all types of events. Similarly, I mean, uh, uh, about the achievement of your department, I would like to also know because we talk about uh, Charu Sata, the research driven university. Yes, yes. So, uh, uh, please tell me something about the major uh, uh, research achievement of your department. See, our institute, uh, uh, it was established in 2017-18. So, we have just finished uh, two, two year, more than two, two and a half year. But in our institute or in my department, especially we have created some, some research group. So, based on the emerging technologies of our field, mm -hmm. we have created IoT group, we have created Internet of uh, Things, Things. Group, uh, group, we have created Cloud Computing group. So, in every group, we have allocated 5 to 6 faculty members and we have informed them that they have to fetch grant based on the uh, on the group in their working Achha. they have to write research paper they have to organize conferences they have to organize workshops based on the groups in which they are they are allocated so the uh, uh, we have created this and now now we are getting we are real we are, we are realizing results people right. people are publishing research paper they used to organize workshop even we have received multiple grants from Guj coast for organizing organizing workshop oh, that's great i mean by virtue of making them involved in variety areas of yes, research, yes. you have started getting good results yes, out of it. Yes, sir. That's, that's uh, really a major uh, achievement indeed. What all areas you feel, I mean, you have been teaching uh, could be integrated into the bigger domain of engineering? We have realized that nowadays it is an era of multidisciplinary learning, multidisciplinary right. project development. So, now, uh, our IT student cannot be limited to only uh, IT branch. IT, student, IT students or com uh, other branch students, they have to work together and to achieve this uh, in our uh, institute, at Devang Patel Institute of Advanced Technology and Research, uh, we, have, uh, uh, we have created one mechanism where uh, in every semester, 
student has to work on project we have software group project name uh, course uh, in now in software group project every student has to take the help of other discipline students and they have to work on a project which is a multidisciplinary project so now our student will interact with the mechanical engineering student electrical engineering student so there will be a joint work and this is how we can uh, achieve or we can realize a multidisciplinary project development team building is yes, also yes, happening yes, i yes, mean yes. i'm not isolated anymore yes, yes, uh, that's that's yes. another important area mm-hmm. which we have focused you might have uh, given your answer by now but uh, again i would like to harp upon how do you think about the future of information technology if we talk about the emerging areas of information technology like aict has just performed one survey all india council of technical education and they have they have given some areas like blockchain technology artificial right. intelligence cloud computing so these are the emerging areas now we have introduced almost all, uh, all 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 these areas as a course in our curriculum we have already included it correct so now we are providing the knowledge to student and uh, during laboratories they have more exposure on these technologies so i think we are training student on emerging technologies so definitely they will they they they, they will get a good job or they will be absorbed in the industry excellent that means the future prospective of our students are really very very yes. bright i mean there is no question about yes. it that's and great. we are we are a state private university sir so we have full autonomy to design our syllabus and even we have uh, hrdc center so hrdc department is also providing us facility for 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 improving student skill whether it is a technical skill or non technical skill that's very interesting to uh, know that you really appreciate hrdc's effort in helping your students yes, sir. Uh, fortunately or unfortunately i'm sitting by your side looking yes. after hrdc as such ah. now uh, 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 Amisar, I would like to ask you one more question. Mm. I mean, your area of interest is computer network, cloud computing, yes, and sir. Internet of Things. Yes. These three areas are very, very prominent areas, which already being talked about by Dr. Amit Ganatra Sir. Also, I would like to have your views that your area of interest, of which you are, you have yourself nurtured, uh, how you are taking it and and imbibing that spirit into the mind of your students. so oh, whatever knowledge which i have based on that i am designing their question paper based on that i am designing their practical list based based on their i am i am conducting the lectures so i used to teach student uh, in terms of future aspects as well as in terms of the latest developments which are happening in my field that's again a very good idea which you have given mm-hmm. so our students are not missing out yes. any particular link yes. in the process of learning that's really very encouraging and i am very sure whoever is watching this show will certainly appreciate that the future of this it uh, 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 is really not only bright yes. but it's really becoming one of the area which is sought after by everyone if we focus on uh, our prime minister sir's vision digital india correct in, to achieve digital in india we re- you require communication you require hardware you require software so ultimately it is a combination of all this that's right I mean, we cannot overlook yes. the prospectives of IT yes. under any circumstances, yes. and that's a very, very optimistic statement which has come from you. We feel extremely happy, and thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Thank you. Mm-hmm.